U.S. Naval Base Guam recently implemented several changes to access its installations. Effective August 4, U.S. Naval Base Guam suspended the Trusted Traveler Program. The Trusted Traveler Program allowed authorized Department of Defense identification cardholders to sponsor guests onto NBG installations without requiring the guests to obtain a pass at the Visitor Control Center. The suspension of Trusted Traveler was not in response to a specific incident or security threats. The changes to the base access were made in an effort to better align base access policies and procedures at military installations island-wide, both here at Naval Base Guam and at Anderson Air Force Base. These will also help maintain safety and security and improve military readiness. Since taking over as Naval Base Guam CEO, I have been uh, committed to improving the warfighting readiness of this installation, for which efficient base access procedures are required to meet that objective. As such, reducing wait times and minimizing traffic lines to access the base for those with legitimate reasons are necessary to maintain our military readiness. The modification access requirements will not prevent guests from visiting NBG with an authorized sponsor. Valid DOD ID holders will be permitted to sponsor guests onto the installation after first obtaining a pass from the Visitor Control Center. So the Trusted Traveler program is only one of the processes that allow visitors to access Naval Base Guam. The one-day weekend visitor passes are being implemented to handle the unplanned escorted visits to which, in essence, take the place of what used to be Trusted Traveler. There are other base access processes in place for planned visits, large group visits, and multi-day, both escorted and unescorted visits. These visits require advance notification to the Visitor Control Center and can be issued for a single day or for multiple days. Guests who have legitimate reasons to gain access to Naval Base Guam will be permitted access. The following ID holders are authorized to sponsor guests. Uniformed service members or federal government employees with valid common access cards. Military retirees with valid DOD identification credentials. Dependents older than 18 years old with valid DOD identification credentials. Contractors and vendors are not authorized to sponsor guests. All guests must have a valid form of identification, such as a driver's license or passport, which will be used to complete a background check at the VCC. The background check must be favorable in order to grant a pass. The background check form can be found on an NBG Facebook page or the NBG website. The VCC hours of operation to process these passes are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. In addition to suspending the Trusted Traveler program, NBG has taken other steps to improve inbound and outbound traffic flow. Additional security personnel have been added at the entry control points. Also, from Monday through Friday, the main base back gate is open from 0600 to 0830 for inbound traffic only, and from 1530 to 1700 for outbound traffic. I will continuously review and evaluate the program and its impacts, and I will make the necessary adjustments if and when uh, deemed appropriate. Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Teresa Murto Cepeda.